Okay. As I mentioned earlier, this, uh, this next young lady is one of the stars of Twin Peaks, which is a very interesting, intriguing nighttime um, mystery. Uh, some people might call it a soap opera. Would you welcome, please, Laura Flynn Boyle. Laura. Nice to see you. You were supposed to be with us the other night, and we yes. ran along, so I thank you for, for coming oh, back. Oh, gosh, it's the chance oh, of a lifetime. Well, I've seen Twin Peaks a number of times. It's a very interesting, almost bizarre in certain aspects. Uh, You've seen it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, good. I sure have. You enjoy it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite an experience. It's a nice, large cast. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of fun shooting it. And you, are, you play the, the girlfriend of the girl that was... Yes, done, I play done away Laura with Palmer's it. best friend. And it all revolves around that, doesn't it? It's a continuing kind of, of drama. Pretty much so, pretty much so. But considering that there's such a large cast, yeah. it varies. It's, uh, it's a good show. Yeah, so far so isn't good. Your, isn't your season finale just finished or it's coming up? Or? No, we have, I think, three more episodes. Three more? Yeah. I'm right on top of things. <laughs> yeah. Do people stop you and do that silly thing? Well, you look just like you look on television, or you look different than you look on television, or I look pretty different from Donna Hayward. Yeah. yeah. We look a little bit alike, but um, she dresses differently. Yeah. That's about it. Where'd you start your career? You're only what, twenty years old? I'm twenty. Yeah. Where'd you start your acting career? Um. Well, I've been wanting to do this since I was about three. I started in Chicago. Right. Yeah. What in a, a local theater? Or in television? local theaters, and then I went to performing arts high school. Yeah. What did you do? We've talked to Tony a lot about what actors or actresses do when they're not working. They always usually hold strange jobs. They're sales clerk or they work at McDonald's or they sell door to door or... Well, I did uh, some waitressing. I worked with um, some people at a place called Ann Sather's. And in Chicago every year they have the Taste of Chicago. Right. And we used to go and, and uh, work at the Taste of Chicago, which is about 100,000 people come right. through the weekend and you serve them food. But I was very fortunate. I'm very close with the owner of the restaurant. Right. So I could spill food and trays of, of food and, <laughs> and hang in just there, sort huh? of laugh and say sorry, you know. Well, it's not a bad training ground if you want to be an actress. You get exposed to a lot of I guess different so. kind of people. I guess so. Now, when did you come to Los Angeles or did you come here first? Uh, no, I came here. Uh, I promised my mom that I wouldn't come here until I graduated from high school. Good move. Yes. Would you advise young ladies, you know, always, you, you probably get letters from people. I want to, you know, they told me I was in a school play. I should come to Hollywood and fame and fortune or New York. You say, stay through high school, at least that, right? Well, I don't know. If I didn't have my mom, I probably would have moved out yeah. right away. So you your know. mother said, don't finish right. high school. All right, go ahead. All right, so I uh, stayed in Chicago and then I graduated from high school and I left the next morning. And moved out. <laughs> All by yourself? Well, I moved out by myself, and my mom said that she would come in a few months. Uh -huh. And I was, I stayed for about three weeks, and I kept calling her and crying on the phone. Mm -hmm. Please come out. So finally, she came out a few weeks later. It's awful tough, tough house to come into this town like this and try to find work, isn't it? Well, um, it's not as tough finding work, but it's, it's tough um, keeping a family and keeping friends. And, yeah. You know, because Hollywood can really offer you a lot of things for a short period of time. Right. Like what? Well, you know, I mean, it's if, if you're a young girl and you're talented and, right. and you're cute, you know. Yeah, you're a lot all of those of, things. Well, so far. <laughs> but, you know, they're willing to, you know, tell you how great you are and that. And it's nice to have people like your family around who are honest with you. Yeah, can you tell the people uh, who are giving you those kind of flattering accolades that they're not sincere? Producers, people that, you know, say they can get you a job or, yeah. you know. What was your first? Did you ever do commercials? We were talking about commercials. Uh, yeah, I did, I did a lot of um, print ads, and I did a commercial for Fruit Roll-Ups or something. And, and, uh, fruit Loops? Fruit Roll-Ups, yeah. And I was out you there. You probably and... remember that, don't you, Tony? <laughs> Holy man who would know the commercial fruit roll-ups, but you missed that one, huh? No, no, I, uh... Do you remember Yes, that? yes, of course. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bought that. So you did a few print things? Yeah. What was your first uh, television work? Oh, I did a, a miniseries called America. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Which is pretty amazing because um, I had never done anything, you know, in TV, and then right. uh, they cast me in it and told me to pack up my bags for nine months. Right. You know, day after I got it, so... I've been very fortunate. Yeah, now is your mom still at her or on your, on your own? She's in the green room. Yeah, oh, is she really? Still, yeah, there's about six people just praying that I didn't trip when I walked out. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, so somebody said you, you've got a dog, but I didn't understand this. Yeah, I've, That I've, has its own Well, I have, I have yeah, I have I, I, a, I a golden retriever named Bella, and she has um, 
she has several little stuffed animals and I was in New York once and I bought her like an $80 stuffed animal and I went up to the cashier and I said, you know, this is really horrible, but this is for my dog, you know. <laughs> but she, she, carries, she has a little chick that she carries around and she licks them. She thinks they're her babies. Well, I think it's because I thought he had a live pet. Oh, when no, no, says, no, his no. own pet. I said, boy, that's really status. No. The dog that has, it has another dog, you know. She might, someday. <laughs> that was my thinking. What did you think when you heard that? Dog has his own pet? I thought it was another, like a chicken. <laughs> no, I'm not a chicken. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm a little goofy. We'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, folks. It was nice having you on the show. Thank you. You paid me a nice compliment. You've been waiting to do the show a long time. You're a very lovely young lady. I wish you much success in your career. You said you're currently... Uh, Doing a picture with Clint Eastwood? Yes. Hey, great for you. Yes. Come back and see us. I sure will. Tony, you are appearing on a night of 100 stars. Yes. Who are some?